Hello everyone, this is Roger Brogan. In this video, we're going to see how to unstake a pocket node. In prior videos, we saw how to set up a pocket node, turn it into a validator node, all on the testnet, create the staking transaction. And just a quick review, let's take a look at our node. I have an SSH connection running here. So if we look at the balance, we can see we got a little less than 5,000 pocket left. That's uh, accurate because the testnet faucet gave us uh, 20 and we staked with about 15. So if we look at our node, we can say this is our address. We've got our public key set up. This is the service URL to our node, status two. And that is the tokens that we have staked. So status two means that we are staked and we are not jailed. So we are running on the net. And if we take a look at, we can take a look at our status here as well. We can see some more information. Once again, we're on our test net. We can see that we have voting power of 15,001, right? So we are actually staked. We are synced. We are not catching up. We are on block six. 220. Okay, so we are successfully staked to the testnet. So if we want to, to unstake ourselves, which unstaking is going to remove the stake to the node and then return it back to your wallet and take you off the network as a validator, you might want to do this if you're going to you know, unstake and maybe restake some other claims somewhere else. So let's take a look at the unstake command. The unstake command is really pretty simple. We're just going to issue pocket nodes on stake. And we're going to use the public address of our node. Oh, a couple of arguments I forgot, right? So we need to tell it on which net we're unstaking from. So we're unstaking from the test net. And we have to give it a fee in micro pocket. It's asking for your password because it's going to be signing this transaction with your private key. So you need to unlock that. And a success equal true is what we're after there. Okay. So, and there's the transaction for our unstaking transaction. Now, if we look at the node right now, we're not going to see any change immediately on the test net. It takes I believe an hour at current configuration to unstake. So we're going to have to wait a little bit. And let me take a look at, uh, let's just go ahead and query our node again too. And we can see that we're still staked to our rank B test net. So what we're going to do is just pause the video right here and wait for an hour and then come back and look at these commands and look at the balance and see if we are successfully unstaked from test net. Okay, so it's been a little over an hour, so let's go ahead and check our node and see how the unstaking status is going. Taking a look at querying the node here, we can see our status is back to one. We are no longer staked. It also gives us a timestamp of when we were unstaked. You might have noticed before that that was just this 111 date, and now this is the actual unstaking date. And if we want to take a look at our status, we can see that our voting power is now zero because we're no longer a validator. We are successfully off the net. That's all there is.